Uh, what's going on my dudes, my peeps, kings and queens, everyone in the YouTube land. I want to say a big thank you. Just going to turn on the overheads. A big thank you to everyone who donated to the cause to help a lovely little little girl and the charity stream you guys rock. Um, we did have a couple of people who donated big amounts and I did promise that if you donated 20 bucks or more or 20 pounds or more euros 20 or more I would fire up the 3d printer and 3d print you guys and a whole bunch of other stuff I also was giving away uh, some miniatures that I was painting on the night case in point we have we've got this guy here uh, he's still not done yet we're gonna be finishing him up a little bit more later on in the next paint string and I was also I got a little bit of work done finally on the Urban Rommel burst still not happy with the face I'm gonna do a little bit a whole bunch more uh, highlights and a whole bunch of other things and whatnot so I look forward to seeing those. Uh, in fact, let me move the highlight camera down a little bit to there. There we go. Uh, so we've got the Owen Rommel burst that we're painting. Um, we've got a whole bunch. I've got a ton of miniatures I've got to paint. In fact, I think I've got like three or four complete armies in a box, not including a box over there for the tanks and vehicles and whatnot. And I've still got this um, Eldar Wraith Lord here that I've got to paint and um, I've got a couple of death guard stuff I've got to do I even managed to um, uh, rig up this small old computer fan to run off a USB 5 volt USB so I can use that to speed up the drying time of my uh, speed paints because uh, I still don't have a hairdryer <laughs> just yet um, but one of the things that I did offer for anyone who donated, uh, like I said, a, a large amount, is I would 3D print them a miniature of their choice. Now, I do have a website, um, Top Hat Model and Props. I will be um, updating the website. It, I haven't updated it in a while. I'm going to be updating it. But one of the models I have on my website is this giant Colossus Burst. And that's exactly what one of the, the donators wanted they wanted a colossus burst and so it took my printer 20 something hours to print this individually the head is separate from the body and from the base and um i mean it got to the point where my printer was having some issues hence that's why there's some um uh putty and whatnot on there plus when you do uh, uh prints like this it is always better to print them um hollow instead of solid um, and when you do that you have to print with holes in the model case in point here's a zombie captain america head and underneath you can see a whole bunch of holes so as you can see a whole bunch of holes that's so that the um, uncured resin can drain and not build up pressure and cause it to crack well when you put holes in a model like that you've got to fill them and so that's what I used the milliput for um, and there are some holes I didn't fill in fully 100% so I'll be re redoing those here soon um, like there's the there's a couple on the head I can feel with my finger I'm gonna fill those in soon smooth sand them out smooth and then prime this model and this Colossus burst this big model and this is a huge model I mean I've I've got 14 15 inch hands I've got huge hands and this model just it it's humongous uh, I, I really wish I could if you're a modeler this is a, a, a Vallejo surface primer large bottle and <laughs> it's it's bigger than the bottle um, this thing if I was to print this as a solid resin model I don't think I would have enough resin to print it all 
system, but because I printed it hollow, it's quite light, which is good, uh, but at the same time, it means it's gonna be fun to, and a joy to paint. Um, I do have to do some more. I've gotta do a little bit of clean up on the model, and um, so yeah, it's a Colossus Burst. Uh, like I said, that, that's what Crypto wanted. Big thank you to you, Crypto Viper, for your generous donation to help out little Amber, and this video is for you. Um, so here is your Colossus uh, in all his glory. Like I said, I'm gonna hit it with some prime. I'm gonna fill in some of the, the holes and whatnot that's caused from the printing, and then hit it with some primer, um, sand it in certain areas where I've got some uh, 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 areas that need to be sanded. And then we are going to be painting this bad boy, boxing it up and shipping it to you again my way of saying thank you amber's way of saying thank you you rock um so yeah and this is pretty much just how i'm going to be doing my paint strings from now on guys is i'm gonna have a a, a nice little simple you know like close-up camera where you can see you know the detail i'm trying to do and an overall display camera where you can see the work i'm trying to do um and I figured it would it this will work the best. Um, so yeah, I've got this Colossus to do, um, and we've got some more work to do on the uh, on the Rommel burst. As you can see, we've we've been doing a little bit of work. Uh, the face is initially uh, it was I tried using the speed paints, um, the 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 um, the the. Um, army paint the speed paints and it it, it 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 was fine but I didn't do enough in the way of highlighting brush wise and so it really didn't give me the depth I needed so I then went through with my um, uh, Vallejo um, face set I've got a, a set of uh, a paint paints that are all just different face tones uh, ranging from pale faces all the way up to uh, uh, I mean there, there's like 28 different paints in this face paint collection and I can do any tone of face it's it's amazing and it's really good for um, what I'm planning on doing for this urban rumble burst again when this burst is done uh, and clear coated and whatnot it will also be going up on eBay for auction Again, all proceeds will be going towards helping Amber. We'll also be doing a Captain America burst right here. But I'm gonna be doing this Captain America as a Hydra agent. So we're gonna do Hydra Captain America. So look forward to seeing that. I mean, th th this should give you a scale reference, okay? That's the zombie Captain America head. This will get painted as well. Uh, I was going to be doing this for Halloween, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get to stream on Halloween. And so you're starting to understand the size of these bursts now. Um, it, like I said, if you're a 40k player, here's a Chaos Space Marine, uh, uh, old school Gen 1 Space Marine with a banner. Uh, so are you starting to, to, you can't even see him behind Colossus. Uh, are, are you starting to understand the sheer size of this model now? Um, it is it is quite large um, this this Colossus is probably gonna take me about three four days of painting um, a lot of metallic work because Colossus skin is silver um, so that's gonna be fun and uh, like I said we've got a zombie Captain America I do have his torso his upper body on the shelf over there um, so that'll be so we're going to be doing that, the head and torso. That's going to be, again, that will be up uh, for, for sale on eBay. So will the Hydra Captain America. Again, that will be a one-off going for sale. Uh, I've also got, um, let's see, I've got a Death Guard army I'm going to be painting. I've got a, a, a Black Legion Cow Space Marines army I'm going to be painting. Oh, I've even got this... Um, We've even got this uh, uh, Chaos Knight here that we are going to be doing for in, in Death Guard colors. 
So this is going to be, I mean, this should tell you something. I mean, here's the Colossus next to the Death Knight. Okay, this is a rather large model. Um, and, well, FOMO, guys. Fears of miss fear of missing out. You guys who, who missed out on the stream, missed out on whatever, won't get the chance of getting that Colossus because that Colossus is already winging its way to its new owner. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And if not, go follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. And uh, yeah, I will see you all guys in the next video slash stream. Until then guys, take care. Bye bye.